All right, having an issue with the vehicle over, well, not overheating, but pushing coolant um, under high boost, under um, high RPM. Um, what would happen is I would start to lose heat. Uh, many times you start to eventually lose heat, the coolant system isn't full enough to maintain hot coolant into the heater core. Um, heater core is not clogged up. I already checked for that. Uh, radiator's new. Uh, first thing I did was replace the radiator cap. Cheap and easy thing to do. 13 pound radiator cap. Um, didn't fix the issue. It, I'd had heat after filling the coolant system. Completely bled the system with a big funnel and letting it run for a long time until the thermostat opens and closes several times. Heats the all of the coolant in the radiator. Fans kick on and make sure you don't have any more air bubbles coming out of your big funnel of coolant. Um, replace the thermostat. Stock is 180. I put a 170 in it. I'm still having the issue with it pushing coolant out into the overflow. It would fill the overflow up and not take the coolant back in to the coolant system. Usually the first thing you would think is a, a radiator cap is in allowing it to uh, pull the vacuum to pull coolant back into the cooling system from the res from the overflow reservoir. So, I uh, did a compression test. It passes a compression test within about one or two PSI uh, between each cylinder. Um, but, what we're going to do here is uh, kind of a uh, bleed down test, if you will. Um, got my compressor set at 145 PSI. Um, what we have here is a differential cylinder pressure tester. What we'll do is hook this up to each piston, or each cylinder, if you will, individually, same way you would a compression tester. But we can maintain a regulated air supply constantly. Hook that up. And, of course, that's pegged. Nothing going going on there. Everything looks fine, but we're still leaking compression. So what we do, you'll turn the engine just a bit until it seals. And then you'll look for any type of bubbling in the coolant system. As you can see, it's it's raising my coolant level. And of course, I've got a lot of pressure. The air pressure is fighting me back. Oh, there's a bubble. Bubble. So what we have is compression leaking out into the cooling system. Leaking, and I'll put pressure on it, seal it up. And it raises the coolant level again. And bubble. Bubble. and release the pressure. So what this tells us is that we've got a, either a bad head gasket or a cracked head. And of course just because you don't have oil mixing in your coolant and vice versa doesn't mean that your head gasket isn't blown. As you can see my oil is perfectly clean. Nothing wrong with that. Coolant looks decently clean, no oil in it or anything like that. Well there's several passageways inside the engine and several different seals on a head gasket. Each one of these little holes are either for a head stud and or oil or coolant. Now the problem here is one of these combustion rings or one of the coolant holes are um, what's happening is air pressure, compression, is getting through the gasket mating surface, 
between the head and the block and getting through one of the coolant ports and of course causing uh, the greater pressure. Your coolant system is only under about 13 PSI um, and your compression, you know, 150 or so PSI and that is actually leaking compressed air. Of course it's going to go through the path, path of least resistance and bubble out into your coolant system. Well, it replaces I'm not burning coolant out of the exhaust, so it's just pushing compression into the cooling system, which is in turn too high of pressure for the radiator cap to maintain, so it pushes coolant out into the reservoir and, of course, doesn't take it back. Um, the gasket I have on here now, that has probably about less than 10,000 miles on it. I don't know if we can see it here. Um, hmm. It's a copper SCE Titan head gasket. If I zoom in here, it's not too clear, but you can tell that that's a copper gasket. Uh, this gasket actually has um, a, a pretty thick mating surface, um, and it has a stainless steel wire um, in between the copper of each of the um, cylinders. And of course, like a typical gasket, it has a uh, some type of sealant or uh, silicone, something like that, if you will, around each of the coolant and oil passageways. And I also have ARP head studs on the vehicle. I checked torque. Torque is where it should be. Uh, nothing wrong with that. So I'm getting rid of that gasket and since I didn't have any problems with it before, going back with the OE style Felpro Permatorque. Uh, might have been a waste of money on going with a copper semi-race street type head gasket. Uh, many people run the OE style composite gaskets and run 30-40 PSI with ARPs. So that's going to be the route I'm going, and we'll see how that works.